I think fast tracking a vaccine is not uh, is is not such a good idea. Um, obviously, we're all keen on a vaccine, but but all I can say is that we're really on target. There's about 130 vaccines out there. They they do like to uh, produce news uh, that that helps uh, funding support and uh, and share prices and things. But but honestly, all I can say is that I feel that we're on target. We we are hoping that vaccines will be available during next year. And we've been saying that since the beginning of the outbreak. When you're saying that fast tracking is not a good idea, are you concerned about the efficacy of these vaccines, that quality might be compromised in meeting timelines? I'm concerned about the safety and the efficacy. These are the two criteria that, that are, are, are crucial in a vaccine. There, there's a lot of people uh, that don't believe in vaccines. And this is, is fuel to the fire if you're producing vaccines too quickly. Uh, those campaigns will be will be very uh, powerful if if they can uh, engender a, a lack of trust in the system. Dale, knowing what you know then about where we are with these clinical trials of the leading vaccine makers so far, when you hear that Trump administration officials say that production could start by the end of the summer, does that sound realistic? It, 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 to me, it's too fast. Uh, I, I'd need to see the evidence. I'd need to see that it's been tested on on thousands, perhaps tens of thousands of people, uh, be, before you. And, and a period of time has gone gone past because because sometimes side effects can be delayed in in, in vaccine treatments.